Hi, I'm Michael Ralph with the Center for STEM Learning at KU, and we're talking about univariate scatter plots. Let's do it. I'm going to assume you've already got your data collected, and so step one is to generate some sample statistics, and then we need to insert just some arbitrary numbers in order to tell Excel how to do the second variable since it's not actually a measurement. So to do that, I like to use two and four, just totally arbitrary choices. You can see that my numbers over there are changing. That's just because I'm using a, a randomly distributed data set just for this demonstration. And so then for each one of those plots, we're gonna use that number. And then I like to insert a random generator just to give it a little bit of wiggle so that it's a little easier to see our numbers when they come out so they're not all stacked on top of each other. So we're gonna do that for each one of our data points. And then I wanna do the same thing for the second set. There we are. Next step is to set up the graph and we are doing a scatter plot. Excel doesn't need to know about any of our intentions, a regular Scatter plot's gonna be fine, but that's not right. So we need to set up, we need to do a lot of data structure uh, changes in order to make this look the way it needs to look. So step one is select our data. All right, we're gonna edit our series. We're gonna go ahead and lay out what it looks like. And here's where those X values that we set up a moment ago are gonna come in. And we're getting closer. You can see all those numbers down there. That's looking more appropriate. And it's gonna get even better once we add our second set. So let's get the control in there, our wiggle numbers. And then I don't know why it puts that one in there. Make sure you get that out and tell it just to use these. That's encouraging, right? That looks a lot better. From here, a lot of the formatting is just to make things look the way you want them to look. One thing that uh, Paul did include, though, was he had a nice big marker for where the middle was in each one of those data sets. And I think that's probably a good idea and worth doing. So down here, let's add a couple more series. I'm gonna call this the treatment mean. Let's use the actual uh, arbitrary X values. So it'll fall right in the middle of all of our scattered data points. And then just a single number that is our calculated um, sample mean for that condition. And I'll plop it right there in the middle. Let's do that for both of these. And then let me show you what it looks like when I spend some time editing it and making it look nice. This is what it can be when it's all said and done. It'll give us a better sense of where everything's falling and lets us do what we've done by hand in our journals probably a lot in our formal data reports there at the end. And so to get to these changes, just click on each any of these individual data points and format the data points. And what you're looking for is on our markers, you can change the shape, you can change the size, you can change the color. Uh, also, that ultimately it looks like however you want it to look when it's all said and done. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a line in the comments and let's do our graphing a little better.